this is my way of telling anybody in here who you know doesn't believe in themselves or think that they're good enough to live their dreams or they're scared of what other people will say for them trying to chase their dreams. Do whatever the f you want to do because nobody can stop you. Hey, this is Beauty by the Bee. Today I'm going to be doing just a chat, a little get ready with me, getting ready to go to Post Malone's concert tonight. And as you can see, I'm going all out. So if you're interested in hanging out with me for a little bit while I get ready, continue watching. I'm not going to be saying each product as I use it, but if you're interested, I will list them all in my description below and I'll put them in order that I'm using them so you can kind of know, oh, this is the thing she put on right before her you know, foundation, whatever the case may be. And I'm starting with my skincare routine because this is something you should be doing every single day no matter what. And so many people don't and they're like, I want my makeup to look exactly like that. But they don't ever see all the work that people put into their skincare because your makeup is never gonna look better than the skin underneath. You have to have a good foundation to start with. Not like foundation makeup, but like you have to take care of your skin is what I mean. So definitely start with skincare so you can see that is what it takes. A woman told me just the other day, she was like, I feel like I spend so much time just getting ready to put my makeup on. Like I put so much stuff on before that and like it shouldn't be like that. I was like, no, that's exactly how it definitely should be. You should definitely spend time and money on your skincare because some days you're not gonna be able to wear makeup and you don't want your makeup to look all crusty because you haven't taken care of your skin underneath. So spend time on your skincare. This is my first time filming like this so I hope that it turns out well I hope you get to see everything because like there's a huge box blocking me so I'm like moving around trying like to let you see but also like I gotta see too what I'm getting ready for tonight is to go to the Post Malone concert and I cannot wait I'm so excited my sweet sweet friend Laura is an on-air personality and so she got tickets and she's taking me and this is the second time she's taking me to a Post Malone concert so I'm very excited and she goes to like things all the time so I mean not to say she's not excited she loves her job she's excited but she didn't even remember the first Post Malone concert we went to because we sat on the lawn and she was like I've never been to Post I'm really excited to go and I was like we have been to post, like we did. And she's like, when? It was actually the day I was working and uh, she called me and she's like, hey, I got these tickets, like last minute, do you wanna go? I was like, I'm sick y'all, I gotta go. I gotta leave, I'm just so sick now. But she didn't remember, cause she's like, oh, the lawn, does that even count? To some of us, Laura, to some of us, the lawn counts, okay? Don't forget your old wrinkly neck. Try to keep some organization on here, so I some stuff around, put it away when I'm done with it. I wanna tell y'all like stories and stuff while I do my get ready with me, but it's really difficult when I'm just talking to myself cause it's like, how do I even begin to like think of what to say or like what kind of things to tell you and like there's nothing to play off of, you know what I mean? Like it's just me alone. But like what have going on? Like today, oh, you know what I'm trying to do today? I'm trying to film my first TikTok, but I do not understand it at all. And it's like how many platforms am I expected to learn and to get on? I don't have no idea. So I began the first part of a TikTok I'm trying to film. You know, sometimes you like do something in an app and you go back and it's refreshed. I hope this is not because it looks to me like people are able to do like the start of them getting ready and then the end of them getting ready. So I filmed me with no makeup on in the app. I hope that it's still there so I can go back to it and film the end later. If it looks like my foundation doesn't match my face color at all, it's because it never ever does. I match like my body and stuff more so. And I think like any foundation you wear will end up matching when you put on your contour and your highlight and concealer and everything. So I don't spend a, a bunch of time caring about that. I like, my complexion's on point. That's like something I feel really comfortable and confident in. So I don't, I know that it ends up looking completely fine. If I wore the color of my face, Y'all would think I was sick and y'all would think I did not know what I was doing because it wouldn't match my body at all. Yesterday, I had the very best, most relaxing day in so long. Yesterday was a brisket, like, marathon. It was so good and wonderful. Um, I just feel like I'm so busy all the time now because I just, I really put so much time into my YouTube channel and my Instagram. And if I'm just, like, doing anything else, I feel really stressed out. But Sundays are the days I really do try to just take off. Like Monday and Tuesdays I film and edit. Uh, Wednesday through Saturday I like work uh, like on my like regular job. And then um, Sundays I just try to do something with Josh. 
So yesterday we got up early, um, trying to vacuum my freaking couch because Hurley just decides he owns the couch. He just, he waits till we go to bed and then he takes his fence down, which like holds him like in the, like in his area so he can't go in the living room. There's nothing to stop him. He gets through any kind of fencing situation we put up. So he just walks right through it, does whatever he does to get out of it. And then he gets on the couch and then before we get up every morning, he gets off of it and just goes back to his um, like little like room. You know, if y'all saw my house tour, y'all know he has like his own little room. But he doesn't spend time in there because he wants to lay on the couch. We don't let the dogs on the couch. They shed too much. But he gets on the couch every single night. But so uh, he got on the couch. He had so much hair on there. And so I don't have like a vacuum. I have like robot vacs, but I don't have like a hand vacuum or anything, but I have one for my car, which if you've ever been in my car, you know I ain't never used that thing. But so it only plugs in my car. So I pulled my car all the way up. I pulled the sofa all the way to the door and I just stood in the doorway trying to vacuum up some of his hair. We have like a blue couch. His hair is so white. It's ugh, so much. And it didn't, much didn't get done. But anyway, that's what I did right when I woke up and it was kind of like, pretty ridiculous and then we went for a bike ride just josh and i and so that was really fun we stopped at a couple places so if you're familiar with houston and if you're watching this you probably because only my friends really watch me no i'm just kidding kind of we went to like uh this really cute natural beauty place called bloom in edo if you're familiar with houston or if you're coming to houston you should check them out it's all like natural products we got josh josh has really sensitive skin super super sensitive skin and when we were riding bikes he like lifted up his arm and it was like blood red i was like what the hell is that like what what's going on and he's like well you know like uh the deodorant and i was like no i did not know it made you inflamed um so we we went to that place bloom in east downtown and we got him some natural deodorant and he wore it uh last night and he he said he had no reaction to it and it smelled so it smelled so much better than his uh regular deodorant it smelled more like a cologne it was so good oh then we came home and we we're like okay we want to go do something we don't want to be in the house um and for valentine's day we we're supposed to go get like um he was like i'll just bring you to get a massage wherever you want whenever you want and so uh, I hadn't used it because I didn't want to go when a lot of people were there. And really, I just want reflexology. Like, I love getting my feet touched and rubbed. Like, uh, like if y'all see my feet, they are like, wow, they do not look good. Because when I get a pedicure, I really just want them to rub my feet. I'm just like, I'd rather just go get like reflexology where they just rub your feet the whole time. I love that shit. So um, I just looked up a little place. I was like, oh, let's go do this. Let's go do this today. Let's go get like um, a little foot massage. And I knew Josh really wanted to get a massage. So I was like, okay, they have packages where we can do like 45 minutes of a foot massage and then 45 minutes of a back massage. Um, but it's just like a, it's not like a real spa. You know what I mean? Like it's not like a really nice place. The reflexology places are all like you're sitting all next to each other and they just like kind of like rub your feet and stuff. I'd never been to this place. So I just looked online and we went over there and from, the jump it was a little weird okay and like i said we we're riding bikes all day so we had done a little over 10 miles so we came home and took a shower and then we're, i was like oh yeah we're gonna get my feet rubbed let's head over there so when we get over there um we like we didn't make an appointment or anything we were just like we're gonna walk in and see if they can take us so we walk in and the situation it, it looks nice in the front like the front does look okay but the situation starts to get a little sketch pretty instantly so we go in they bring us to like a little couple's massage area and then uh, y'all okay <laughs> i had just taken a shower like i said and a lot of times right after i take a shower i don't put on underwear because i need my vagina to breathe naturally okay like i don't want to just like instantly bundle her up she needs to breathe well I, like again in my mind i was like i'm going to get a foot massage i didn't even think about like anything so i i always wear underwear when i get a massage i wear just my panty i don't wear a bra um so we get in there and they're like okay take off your clothes and it hit me because i was just like wearing jogging pants let you know like letting the breeze catch my vagina you know so um we go in there and they're like okay take off all your clothes and i look at josh like they had walked out and i look at josh i was like i forgot to wear underwear like i forgot to put on panties and he's like what and uh i was like i just forgot like i forgot we were like gonna do this part of it i didn't think about it i didn't put on any underwear i was like i'm gonna feel like a creep not having any underwear on for my massage and um he was like i'm gonna take off my boxers too and y'all josh is shy like josh is very very he y'all don't really see him in videos and stuff because he does not like attention I, i'm kind of like I, I could be okay like i would be embarrassed because i feel like a creep getting a massage but like I, i'm not like embarrassing my body at all or like um shy in any way you know so he was like i'm not gonna wear any underwear either so it's not like 
you were just being weird it'll look like we just kind of thought that you don't wear underwear maybe i was like okay 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 thank you i was like thank you thank you thank you thank you so i was like okay i'm gonna take off my underwear so we we lay in the bed on the bed i'm laying they have like a big sheet so i like cover myself up and josh looks and he's like what the he has just like a little hand towel. Just the way he's like, this doesn't cover me. I, ca I can't, I can't. He's like, I, I gotta put on my underwear. I can't do this. I can't, I can't just not have anything on. So I was like, crap, just me alone with no underwear. I was in tears, like in tears laughing of how stressed he had gotten about it. It was so funny. I mean, because I, I mean, I would be stressed too. I was stressed. I didn't wear any freaking underwear, you know? But uh, it was just so funny that like he was trying to make me feel better. And then that like little towel, he's like, I just can't, I cannot do this. The whole situation ended up being not good. It, wa it wasn't good. It was very, very weird. When uh, the ladies giving Josh a massage, like my, my massage is feeling very weird. And there's lots of parts I was thinking, okay, remember to tell Josh this, this is crazy. Remember to tell Josh this, this is crazy. And we're sitting next to each other, but you can't see each other. And so, um, Josh was getting his massage, and as soon as we left, he was like, I gotta tell you about that. That was weird, I was uncomfortable, I would never go back there. Like, I feel so uncomfortable. Like, I, I was getting upset, you know? Like, he was not enjoying himself. He said while the lady was like giving him a massage, like right before she started, she pulled his underwear all the way down, like to his ankles, like, and just had them at his ankles. Like, he's like, I kept, like, if you had underwear on, you kept them on for a reason, you know? And um, most massages I get, they never touch my butt, but um, this one was heavy on butt stuff, like heavy on butt stuff. And I did not have underwear on. And I kept thinking like, when he goes to my upper like legs, I was like, if he gets too close, he could touch my vagina and I'm gonna have to say something like, and I kept like hyping myself up in my mind, like don't, don't just let it happen. If you feel like you're getting uncomfortable, say something. But I just knew I was about to be uncomfortable. So I was like, if he gets too close on the top of your legs, like say like, I mean, he was touching my butt, but touching my butt, and then touching the back of like the top of your legs, you're kind of like closer to your vagina, you know what I mean? And so I just kept telling myself like, don't, don't let it go. Like if, if you feel uncomfortable, say something. If you, and I was just like prepping myself to feel uncomfortable and he never got close on the top of my legs. He really did not. So I didn't have to say anything, but Josh on the other hand, she got very close. Josh said she was very close to touching his penis, but also he said she definitely saw it because at one point she, he's laying on his belly and she told him to like frog leg out. He's like, she could definitely see my penis the whole time. He was like, I was so freaking uncomfortable. I was like, you have to say something. Never allow yourself to be in an uncomfortable situation, especially like of sexual nature, you know, like definitely, definitely, you know, speak up. Um, but he was very stressed out. She took his freaking underwear off, man. That's weird. That's if I'd have looked up and saw that, I would have said something because I know how uncomfortable he would have been. He doesn't want me to touch his butt. Surely he doesn't want anybody else, you know? But I was like in tears laughing before. And then after it was just like an uncomfortable situation. So like it, it wasn't really funny after because we didn't really enjoy ourselves there. Even though it was like it was a wonderful day. The leg massage part was really good. I was glad that we went to the place and that we like got the reflexology part of it because I love that foot, foot touch. So besides that funny situation of our massage. Mostly I've just been like working, working on trying to understand the algorithm in YouTube always, trying to think of better video ideas. I've had this really funny video idea planned out for like a couple months that I've been working on. I've been really, really excited because it's humor based and it's about makeup as well. And I just feel like those two things are the things I'm really passionate about. But with the coronavirus breakout, I feel like people might think this video is insensitive. Uh, it's nothing to do with the coronavirus at all, but it is a prank video. Um, and I just, I feel like it's a bad time to put it out. And I just, I think it'd be so, so funny. But I don't want people to be like, you're a real playing on people's uh, like fear. So I'm just waiting. And this is a series I'm gonna do. So, I mean, I would like to do it at least once a month, but gotta wait till this virus is over. How inconvenient for me. Very inconsiderate of everyone that's sick but i do have a lot of other video ideas i'm really excited about but like the best ones just take time and that's something i'm so low on i really just want to get back in a place where i'm doing like really funny videos again i just love complexion so much y'all i would like to spend all of my time when i'm getting ready only worrying about like what my skin looks like i do not give a crap about what my eyes look like i'm just gonna put a little bit of color i don't really have an idea but i'm in my palette of the month so I mean, the choices are very limited in this palette, I'll tell you. Reds or pinks? Reds or pinks? That's the only option. What do I want? I don't have no idea what I'm wearing because I'm not a clothing person. I'm just gonna throw on whatever I see and just, I hope that 
my eyelashes distract from everything I wear. Okay, so I think this is all I wanna do with my eyes. I don't want something like really dramatic because it's just like not how I like to go out. It's not my personal style. What I do on Instagram is really just to attract attention and not stuff I actually want to wear. Um, so this is my personal style. Well, my style with this pink and purple palette. I'm not tired of it at all. Okay, so this is my completed look for the Post Malone concert. Uh, as far as makeup and hair goes, I'm probably not gonna wear my Harry Potter pants. But I just feel like it's missing something. Like there's one little bit. You'll see I'm putting straight up water on my face and I'm not worried about my makeup moving. I am worried about this thing sticking, but I'm not worried about makeup moving because I really do like pack it in. So people are like, oh, my makeup moves all day. Like, I don't know, I have to always reapply it. What the hell are you doing? Like, what are you doing that your makeup doesn't stay? But all my makeup around it stayed. Guys, yeah, right. How stupid am I? I'm so, so dumb. Yeah, right. So the two tattoos I was most excited about did not turn out. It's fine, I'm fine, everything's okay. But I'm just really excited to get to this concert. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today while I get ready. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you learned that we can do temporary face tattoos. Maybe eventually just a regular face tattoo. I cover with makeup anyway, who cares? Thank you so much for watching.